let's come towards the next question that is question number 7 what is heterospory briefly comment on its significance and also give two examples so let's understand what is heterospory first of all so heterospory is a phenomena in which two different types of spores are being produced by the same plant only a whole plant a plant body same plant body is going to produce two different kind of spores on its own now this phenomena is known as heterospory now what happens these two heterospory or these two heterospores different type of spores are being produced on the same plant but they differ in size the one is smaller in size and the another one is larger in size the small sized spores are known as microspores and the large spores are known as megaspores these microspores are uh, male spores and going to give rise to male gametophyte the larger one the large megaspores are female spores and are going to give rise to female gametophyte inside which the male gamete and female gametes are going to be formed after the formation of gamete the male gamete will flow with the help of water and reaches to the female reproductive organ where the egg cell or female gamete is present and fertilizes with it after the fertilization the zygote will develop but the zygote will develop inside the female reproductive organ only that reproductive organ female reproductive organ will retain on the gametophytic plant body only and this is the main step this is the main thing which is actually participating in the evolution of seed habit this retention of megaspore this retention of uh, zygote on ma uh, female gametophyte ensures the better development of zygote or embryo which actually participating or a significance importance in the seed evolution this retention of megaspore on the female gametophyte only is the main step in the seed evolution as it is a precursor of seed habitat and if you talk about the example of heterospory then we have two examples such as selaginella and selvinia for the first time heterospory is being introduced in the selaginella and selvinia of pteridophytes only so if we want to write the answer of this then heterospory let's write heterospory is a phenomena is a phenomena in which different kind of spores are produced as the name suggesting itself heterospory means different kind of spores are being produced by the same plant only by the same plant now what happens first of all this is the phenomena what is spory heterospory heterospory is a phenomena by which two different kind of spores are being produced by the same plant only now what happens suppose this is a plant this is a plant and this produces different kind of spores plant is having sporophyll which is a modified leaf the lower base of sporophyll having large megasporangia and smaller ones on the top of the sporophyll these are microsporangia these are microsporangia and the larger ones sporangias are known as megasporangia mega sporangia inside which the spores are being produced if we talk about the microsporangia then it will produce microspores microspores and in megasporangia megaspores are being produced mega spores which will give rise to male gametophyte 
male gametophyte and female gametophyte female gametophyte these male and female gametophyte will develop their reproductive structures or organs respectively inside which the gametes are being produced so let's suppose if we talking about the male gametophyte male gametophyte will develop anthridium and female gametophyte will develop archegonium inside anthridium the male gametes or anthrozoids will formed and inside archegonium the egg cell or female gamete is going to be formed after the formation of gamete let's suppose this is your uh, gametophyte gametophyte is having archegonium this is egg cell and the, here we have gamete male gamete these male gametes are coming towards the egg cell and fertilizes with it and forming a zygote all right now after the formation this zygote and this structure retain on the gametophytic plant body only this is retained on the gametophytic plant body only and this retention of these structures on the gametophytic plant body ensures this gameto uh, this retention of the gametophytic plant body ensures the proper development of zygote and this is actually important this is important for evolution of seed as we know that if zygote is developing inside the megasporangia and megasporangia is present on the sporophyll megas uh, archegonia is present on the sporophyll this is the archegonia and this uh, retention of zygote this retention of uh, zyg zygote on the megaspore and on the gametophyte is actually main step main step in the evolution of evolution of seed habit as it is precursor as it is precursor of seed habit all right so this is the significance of heterospore and if you talk about the example then selvinia selvinia and selaginella these are the two examples of heterospore so this is the complete solution of question number 7